guys what's going on my name is Luis and god bless every single one of you today is september 18 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some breaking news updates some huge information coming out if you can please share the video and it says here saudi arabia has suspended talks on peace deal with the holy land the information was given to the sleeping giant sunday uh saudi said we're gonna have to uh kind of pause on this peace deal now the reason why that you know that's happening is because uh situation going on with the uh uh with the prime minister mr benjamin and a lot more things so it's not looking good um it seems like at the very beginning it seems like it was working out but no nah, it just came to a halt now saudi arabia is uh doing well with the BRICS, and they you know they're working good with the uh, bear leader mr vladimir but uh, when it comes to the sleeping giant there's always something going on and again guys uh, i wouldn't want to work with the sleeping giants no offense but the sleeping giant is an abomination and when you want to work peace deal and at the same time you bringing in the abomination when spoken of peace and security sudden destruction shall follow all right guys before i start give this video a big thumbs up share this video with your friends families and loved ones i appreciate the love and support and for those of you that want to contribute to the channel once again the paypal link and the patreon link is in the description box also guys one dollar a month patreon we get you access to our live stream every sunday we talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform also i posted videos today those link will be in the comments box uh, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, I just posted a video on Patreon. Also, I posted a video in my other channel. I did talk about this U.S. military plane that has gone missing, disappeared from the air. It's an $80, 80 million F-35 fighter jet that disappeared over North Charleston in South Carolina. Now, once again, officials have reported that there is no concrete evidence of a crash. The pilot has been found and transported to a hospital. The F-35 is still missing. This was posted about 16 hours ago. Now, information trending right now on X, formerly known as Twitter, uh, supposedly F-35 just landed in Cuba, in Havana, Cuba. Now, it has not been confirmed, guys. Nobody's, I mean, no news outlets, Cuba, Gov, or no one came out and verified this information. As of right now, information just trending, but it has not been confirmed that an F-35 landed in Havana, Cuba. All right, so I did post the Patreon video. That link will be in the comments box. All you got to do is click on it. It will take you straight to Patreon. And then this big screen is going to pop up. Push the play button, watch the video for free. Now, I did post a video today. Uh, last night, I couldn't do Patreon. I was too busy. Uh, the weekends was, man, I was slammed. Just slammed with so many things, guys. And uh, so I did post a video on Patreon. If you guys want to check it out, the link will be in the comments box. Let's see what's going on with this story. Saudi Arabia has suspended talks on peace deal with the Holy Land. So Saudi informed Mr. Burns' administration of its decision to halt all talks of normalizing ties with the Holy Land on Sunday. Once again, the Arab News uh, cited an Holy Land official in the Prime Minister office as saying, according to the unconfirmed report, this person issued a message through the sleeping giant explaining the ex nature of the holy land right wing gov led by mr benjamin not looking good here not looking good for benjamin to uh torpedoing any possibility of the reapproach or reapproachment with the palestines and thus with the saudis so basically the rise that's going on there that is impacting everything you guys already know there's been a lot of rise going on in the holy land 
And um, it seemed like Saudi seeing that and saying, yeah, we're going to have to pause on this for a second. Furthermore, the report specified that Saudi was put off from a potential peace deal due to Benjamin acceptance of demands made by the likes of National Security Minister, I'm going to skip his name, and Finance Minister, who says Saudi CSX, you know, right. And this is when scriptures comes in. When spoken of peace, when spoken of safety or peace and security, the, then sudden uh, destruction shall follow. Something that will break up all this. And it's, you know, everything was good. You know, it seemed like the Abraham Accord was working out fine. Everything was good until, you know, something just pops up uh, that, uh, you know, caused a halt or a war or peace. Uh, a peace treaty. I mean, it just uh, not a peace treaty, but again, we spoken of peace and security. There's always something that breaks it up. So last week, you had the sleeping giant secretary of state, Mr. Tony, said that the Saudi informed Mr. Burns that resolving the Palestinian issue is critical for any normalization deal with the Holy Land. And again, guys. Uh, this has been going on for many years when it comes to the Palestinian and the Holy Lands, when it comes to an agreement. So it is also clear for what we hear from the Saudi that if this process is to move forward, then the Palestinian peace is going to be very important too, Tony said on Wednesday in an interview with the podcast Pod Save the World. Now, the Holy Land normalization with the Arab world and any of the efforts that are going uh, on to improve relations between the Holy Land and its neighbor uh, cannot be a substitute for the Holy Land and that the Palestinians resolving their differences and having much better future for Palestinians, Tony said. In our judgment, that needs to involve a two-state solution. To the Holy Land Palestinian conflict, he explained. All this leads to the rise of the son of the perdition, the rise of the Antichrist. Now, guys, once again, I do uh I do believe the Antichrist will come to place. I mean, will come to the spotlight and will bring a covenant between these two and uh will bring peace. Now, again, guys, many, many sleeping giant politicians have has been trying to work a peace deal with the Holy Land and a peace deal with the Palestinians. And many times it has failed. Now, give me a second here. You can't work a peace deal when this uh, rising going on. I'm going to read some more of this information here, guys. So once again, uh, the sleeping giant, the Holy Land officials deny Saudi peace deal. Wait a minute. Hold on. It said the sleeping giant and the Holy Land officials deny Saudi peace deal. Give me a second here, guys. And it says here, Saudi uh, has suspended talks on peace deal. So, yeah, these two it just. Sleeping Giant and uh, holding an official deny Saudi peace deal. So, yeah, it's it's not working out.
So once again, the foreign minister, Eli, has insisted that the Palestinian issue will not be an obstacle to peace. So the Holy Land and the Sleeping Giant officials have denied reports that peace talks between Saudi and the Holy Land are on the rocks. This week, an article in, in Laf, a Saudi newspaper thought to be close to the country's ruler, uh, Prince Mohammed bin Salman, claimed that officials in the Gulf Kingdom plan to call off discussion. Saudi official reportedly informed their sleeping giant counterparts that they would call a halt to the peace process over the X nature of the Holy Land correlation gov. The demands of ministers such a such as Tamer, I'm gonna skip their names. Um any possibility of reapproachment with the Palestinians does will uh, with the Saudis. They are said to have informed the sleeping giant. Now the sleeping giant and the Holy Land officials swiftly denied the report. However, writing on X, also known as Twitter, the sleeping uh, the sleeping giant viewer of Near Eastern Affairs said that the sleeping giant remains committed to further Holy Land regional intel uh, integration, including through active diplomacy aimed at the Holy Land Saudi normalization. Talks are ongoing and we look forward to further conversation with both parties. Now speaking to Alaf, the Holy Land foreign minister, Eli, said that the Palestinian uh, issue will not be an obstacle to peace. Uh, we also proved this in the Abraham Accords. We all have an interest in improving life in the areas of the Palestinian authorities. Now, speaking to the podcast, Pause Save America, the Sleeping Giant uh, Secretary of State said any Holy Land deal with Saudi could not overlook the need for a two-state solution. Whoops. Totally apologize, guys. It is, uh, it is also clear from what we hear from the Saudis, that if this process is to move forward, the Palestinian peace is going to be very important too. So any of the efforts that are going on to improve relations between the Holy Land and its neighbor cannot be a substitute for Holy Land and the Palestinian resolving their differences and having a much better future for Palestinians. So in our, uh, our judgment, Give me a second here, guys. I truly apologize about that, guys. Um, I had someone do the grass right next to my door and they were not aware that they were supposed to do the left side first. Um, I kind of lost track on this one. I truly apologize. So, once again, guys, I do believe that there's going to be a peace deal. It's just not that time. It's just not that time. Because the only one that gets to make that decision is not man. At the very end, uh, scripture says that uh, God aligns all this to come together. God, uh, God has everything already uh, all set up. And sometimes man is trying to rush into Bible prophecy or rabbis is trying to rush into getting uh, their Messiah, which again, their Messiah is the Antichrist. But uh, scripture says different. So once again, guys, the Holy Land and its neighbor cannot be a substitute for the Holy Land. And that the Palestinian resolving their differences and having a much better future for the Palestinians. In our judgment, that needs to involve a two-state solution. Once again, speaking to Bloomberg last month, you have the Prime Minister, Mr. Benjamin, said he was open to making some concession to Palestinians if it would secure peace. 
do I think is uh, foreseeable to have that? And do I think that political question will block it? I doubt it, he said. If there's a political will, there will be a political way to achieve normalization and a form of peace between the Holy Land and Saudi. And I think there's enough room to discuss possibility. Following the Abraham Accord, and you guys already know the Abraham Accord was under 4-5, and I think uh, Jared Kushner has a lot to do with this, uh, a normalization deal signed between the Holy Land, the United Arab Emirates, and Bahrain in 2020 under 4-5. A possible peace treaty between the Jews, the Jewish state, and Saudi is seen as the white well of regional diplomacy. So published, uh, excuse me guys, so pushed by both the 4-5 and Mr. Burns. It will allow both signatures to focus their joint um, energies on opposing their mutual adversaries. Iran. All right. So once again, guys, I'm going to keep you updated on this story. But it seems like at this time, Saudi, the Holy Land, peace deal, it's not going to happen. And uh, like I say, guys, because uh, at the very end, uh, prophecy, uh, God is the one that caused the shot. All right. The son of perdition will come into Antichrist. I mean, the son of uh, the son of perdition will come into the spotlight. The Antichrist will come into that spotlight and will come with some kind of peace deal covenant between um, the Holy Land and many. And uh, we all know that the Antichrist will break that covenant. Uh, instead of a seven year covenant, it will be three and a half year. So once again, Saudi has suspended talks on peace deal with the Holy Land. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep you updated on this story. But uh, one thing about Saudi, they're working with the bear, the bricks. Uh, and it seems like they're doing really good under the bear, uh, under the red dragon, and all those other nations that form the bricks. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I'll post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he is the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.